Hi, I'm Randy Moy. I'm the Curator of Zoology at the Manitoba Museum. And today I'm going to show you some mammals that glow in the dark. So at these sort of glow in the dark, we're going to use UV blacklight uh, to show you what colors some of these animals turn uh, under that condition. The interesting thing, you may have gone to maybe a rave party or you go bowling in some of these weird places that have black lights and things glow and um, it turns out that's it's actually quite a popular research item right now. There's The literature is really filling up about mammals that uh, do have fur that glows under uh, UV light. Um, we're not entirely sure why uh, this happens, although there's two different chemicals uh, that are meta met metabolic pro uh, products from uh, just breaking down uh, food and protein. Um, and these end up in the fur of animals. Originally, it was thought when it was discovered that these animals glow that, oh, you know, maybe they're communicating, maybe they're doing something. But it probably is more likely, a more likely explanation, that it just happens. Um, so animals are trying to excrete these products to get them out of their bodies, and hair is a good place to do it because hair, you know, falls out, you get rid of it, uh, as you can tell. Um, and uh, they can get rid of some of these products that they don't want in their bodies in their fur. So let's take a look. This is an ermine uh, kind of weasel. In the summer, they're brown. In the winter, they're white. And um, it turns out, although it's not very common in carnivores, in meeting, meeting animal mammals in Manitoba for them to glow, uh, there are a couple of species that do that. Um, and this is one of them. And these glow uh, sort of a purplish, uh, mauve color. So I'll show you that. Here we are uh, with the UV light on and you can see that those white pelts glow sort of this purplish color. And you can see that uh, the cotton glows because there's a chemical in there that glows. This fur, it's not treated with anything um, and that's uh, how, it, how it glows under UV light. So here are some uh, northern flying squirrels. This is a very common uh, rodent in Manitoba. Uh, there's a whole series here uh, from the province, even from right in the city. I'm going to turn on my UV lamp here. We can see that these squirrels that look just sort of pale white or yellowish, uh, under UV glow pink. Um, and this was an interesting discovery just uh, found just a couple of years ago. UV is a high energy light and we can't see it. Um, but what happens is the chemicals absorb that light and then re-emit it as a different color. So flying squirrels are nocturnal. Um, as it turns out, a lot of the animals that there are being found that actually glow in the dark are nocturnal. Many of these chemicals break down in sunlight. And so animals that run around during the day, even though they may be producing some of these chemicals, uh, they break down and so they don't glow. 